देर इज अ क्लिनिकल डिसऑर्डर कॉल्ड एज डर्मेटोग्राफिया और डर्मेटोग्राफिज्म स्क्रैचिंग ओवर द स्किन और मे बी अप्लाइंग ए फर्म ऑब्जेक्ट और अ पॉइंटेड ऑब्जेक्ट अलॉन्ग द स्किन क्रिएट्स अ लॉट ऑफ रेडिश एरिया इन दैट इन दैट पार्ट ऑफ द स्किन एंड इडीमैटस व्हील लाइक फॉर्मेशन इन दैट रीजन uh it may be due to the underlying disease process uh, like a diabetes mellitus or thyroid disorders but the pathophysiology that is involved in this uh, in this type of uh, dermatographism is said to be the exaggerated triple response so in this video we are going to understand what is triple response or triple reaction and that might be getting exaggerated in the dermatographism before we start with the Uh, with this triple response we need to answer one question can an afferent nerve fiber conduct the impulse in an efferent fashion is that possible it's called as antidromic conduction is it possible does it happen anywhere in the body have a look at the diagram here is an afferent neuron sensory nerve fiber it has got these branches which start from the skin and they go to the spinal cord afferent neuron so all these branches and this neuron is expected to conduct the impulse towards the center it's an afferent fiber but you can see here one branch or maybe even more are conducting the impulse in an antidromic fashion in the opposite fashion in the efferent manner towards the periphery so is this possible yes this is possible this happens in the triple reaction and uh, it is responsible in fact uh, for some part of the triple reaction so let's see what this triple reaction is and uh, what is the basis for it it was first uh, described by lewis in 1927 lewis described many other reactions related to the cutaneous circulation like uh, lewis's hunting reaction uh, but we are going to focus on this one uh, if you apply a light stroke along the skin then you see a milder form that is white reaction white reaction means a white line appear uh, will appear within 15 seconds and it is because of the capillaries getting mechanically compressed and the blood uh getting out of that region so uh, region will appear blanch blanching of that region and it will appear little white for some time however if a firm strong stroke is applied to some part of the skin with uh, maybe a pointed object uh, like a pen then you see three reactions occurring one one after the other and therefore this is called as triple reaction or triple response first there will be a red reaction red line or red reaction followed by flare and then finally veal red reaction within 10 seconds now the thing to be remembered for your uh, academic answering purpose is that this is because of the capillary dilation this time the capillaries capillaries are going to dilate instead of getting compressed or constricted so what happens is dilation of the precapillary sphincter and the capillaries just a quick representative diagram you know the arteries they lead to arterioles then the met arterioles pre capillary sphincter region and finally capillaries this is the arrangement of the circulation what happens here is dilation in the pre capillary sphincter region that means more blood will be brought in to the capillaries and the capillaries also dilate and therefore more blood in that region resulting in the appearance of that red line or red reaction it's a direct response meaning that it's not mediated by any nerves it's a direct response there is a damaged skin the superficial parts at least and it releases histamine or other peptides resulting in local uh, capillary dilation all right the nerves are not involved in this reaction how do you prove it you apply local anesthetic apply or inject local anesthetic uh, in that region you know the anesthetics 
particularly the local anesthetics, you know, they block the impulse conduction through the nerves locally. All right. Now, if this reaction was mediated by nerves, then when you applied local anesthetics, the impulse conduction would have blocked, impulse uh, transmission would have blocked and this reaction could not have been seen. But that does not happen. Even if you apply local anesthetic, the reaction still persists. The reaction could not be prevented. That means this reaction, the red reaction is not mediated by any nerves. But we will see the second reaction is definitely mediated by nerves. The second reaction in this triple response is the flare. Flare as in normally as we say flare up, spread or flare up. So there is going to be flare up uh, along uh, or surrounding regions. I mean there is red line and in the surrounding regions there will be an erythematous area created. A reddish erythematous area will be created, irregular patch like area. So, uh, erythematous irregular area surrounding the site of red line. This is caused by dilation of the arterioles. Now, this time the arterioles got involved. So, dilation of arterioles, met arterioles and precapillary sphincters. And that is how there was a flare up. The question is whether nerves were involved in uh, th this time, in this reaction. The answer is yes. How the nerves got involved? This is the most important part of this entire video. So focus and try to retain this part. We applied the uh, stroke, a fine strike was applied to the skin in one area. This is the entire afferent neuron. Now, when you applied the strike in this one region, impulse transmission happens. Impulses were conducted towards the center, but then from the branching point, this is the branching point, the impulse was diverted and was sent in an antidromic fashion in the other branch. That is how it is going to spread, flare. From the branching point, the impulse went in the opposite direction in an efferent fashion. That is what we uh, started out with. So, efferent fashion, it will go to the other branches of the same neuron. And in the nerve endings, there will be release of certain chemicals like uh, substance P or CGRP, calcitonin gene related peptide. These are the known vasodilators. So, they will dilate the arterioles, nearby arterioles. And that is how that redness will spread uh, irregularly uh, from the area of that red line. So, what have we gained so far from this? Is that there is axon, by the way, this is called as axon reflex. This is an axon reflex. And what we uh, proved is that antidromic conduction is possible. The afferent neuron uh, can carry the uh, impulse in an efferent fashion antidromically and uh, it, is, it happens in the skin, particularly in the flare reaction. Uh, this is mediated by the local nerves. All right. How we prove it? What is the evidence that nerves were involved? We apply local anesthetic again same way local anesthetic was applied to see whether uh, the reaction gets abolished now this time application or injection of local anesthetic and the reaction is prevented it does not happen flare does not happen we will, will have uh, the uh, red reaction will happen but flare does not happen it is prevented it is abolished that means definitely it is mediated by the nerves so, but uh, although it is mediated by the nerves, what we want to see is whether it is local nerves, just peripheral local branches or whether central nerves were involved. So what we perform is let us say ulnar block or some motor nerve trunk is uh, blocked 
at the elbow for instance at more central region more proximal part or we perform total sympathectomy which is more central part more proximal part of the uh, entire nervous system when we perform these the response was not abolished the response was not abolished the response persisted so it goes to prove that only this much area was involved or rather only these branches terminal branches of the nerves were involved no involvement of the spinal cord or central nerves that was how it was proven by those procedures so uh, just the peripheral branches and from one branch it travels to the other branch and that is how flare happens that's it the third reaction uh, is called as wheel wheel means an edematous elevation a blister like elevation uh, along the margins of the red line so within a few minutes you will see that there is a elevation edematous elevation along the line which was drawn uh, so that's wheel it is because of the local extravasation what is extravasation leaking of the fluid out of the capillaries out of the vessels vasation means vessels extra means outside so uh, fluid leaking out of the blood vessels and therefore a small edema formation along the line this is because of increased capillary permeability yes and therefore fluid leaked out all right finally what are the mediators uh, capillaries and arterioles were mediated uh, 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 were dilated their dilation was mediated by substance p and cgrp calcitonin gene related peptide it's a known strong vasodilator in addition this extravasation is mediated by substance p so uh, the wheel is because of the substance p the points to be remembered again first was red line it was because of the capillary dilation second was the flare it was because of the arteriolar dilation moving away from the capillaries even arterioles got dilated and that was because of the axon reflex antidromic conduction uh, the dilation was mediated by substance p and cgrp and finally the wheel is mediated by substance p it is because of the increased capillary permeability all right finally the clinical application we discussed that at the start the dermatographia dermatographism or dermatographic urticaria scratching on the skin and this reaction gets exaggerated the reasons are of course the underlying disease processes but that's in a summary is called as the triple reaction